Over the years, we have seen a number of xenomorphs in alien sequels, video games, comics and even toys. The alien universe has a large number of xenomorph types that are quite different from one another. In this video, I will try to explain most of the types featured in movies. But do also check our channel for a variety of other videos too and do remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Beginning with the first form of life in most instances, we have the Overmorph. Featured in most alien movies and most commonly known as the Egg, the Overmorph is the first alien life form encountered. It contains a fully grown face hugger and it detects movement, vibrations in the ground and even your scent to activate the face hugger inside and its actual purpose is to preserve the same. It is said that alien eggs are produced by alien queens but the actual origin during the first encounter is still unknown. Face Hugger From the movie Alien, face hugger hatch from alien eggs and are extremely fast and agile. It is a crab-like creature that will hatch on to the nearest host. They neutralize the prey by attaching to their head and impregnates them with an embryo that then grows into a chest burster. Once it implants the embryo, it will come off and die after successfully. We also have the royal or the queen face hugger. Featured in the movie Alien 3, it has the ability to lay an alien queen embryo inside its host that it attaches itself to. It is bigger than the normal face hugger with flipper-like legs and darker skin and can contain a xenomorph warrior embryo designated to protect the queen. There is also an octo face hugger from the movie Alien Engineer. This is a xenomorph that was cut from Prometheus. They were found contained within a molluscoid egg-like sac found inside honeycomb-like recesses on the ceiling of a large chamber. They are also capable of secreting acid to melt through any obstruction the victim may be wearing like a helmet or any other headgear. Chest Burster Seen in the movie Alien, this is an infant form of the xenomorph species. As the name suggests, this alien grows inside a host and bursts out from their chest killing them gruesomely by biting through the ribcage. When they leave the host, it sheds its light-colored skin, then in just a few hours, it develops into an adult xenomorph. We also have a queen chest burster, featured in Alien 3, which is when a royal face hugger impregnates a human and as a result of the queen chest burster leaving the host, we have a queen alien. Before we continue, let's talk a little bit on the egg sac. Plants in Planet 4 were exposed to pathogens or the black goo and as a result caused the growth of the Neomorph egg sac, a seemingly benign fungal growth that unleashes spores if disturbed which contained a version of Xenomorph DNA. These spores can detect close human proximity and when they enter the host, it leads to the rapid development and growth of a bloodburster sac which quickly erupts and kills the host after a few hours which gives us the Neomorph. Seen in Alien Covenant, the Neomorphs are the creatures that were born from the host that were infected from the egg sac spores. These creatures have pale grey skin and cone-shaped head. They also are eyeless and lack intelligence. Coming to the Belly Burster. As the chest burster bursts from the chest, this one bursts from the abdomen of the host. Seen in Alien vs Predator Requiem, when the victims were only pregnant females, the implied reason behind is so that the baby xenomorphs could feed on the human fetus before taking its place in the stomach and then erupt from the host's abdomen. Next up is the Beluga Xenomorph. Also known as the Holloway Alien, this type was seen in the Alien Engineer movie and was cut from Prometheus early during its production. It was formed due to the impregnation of an octoface hugger and unlike other xenomorphs, they lack the black mesoskeletons and hence are ivory in color and are practically boneless. Similar to the beluga xenomorph, we have the beluga xenomorph chest burster which was seen in Alien Engineer. Moving on to the hammerpeat. From Prometheus, this is actually a worm that was exposed to a pathogen. It has pale, white-grey skin with a somewhat translucent appearance with serpent-like bodies that can grow up to 4 feet long. 
They have great strength and can easily break bones. The Predalien From the movie Alien vs Predator, this is a hybrid alien born from a predator. It is very aggressive and has lighter skin than a xenomorph. It consists of features such as acid blood, dreadlocks and possesses a great physical strength. What it takes from its Yautja host is definitely the mandibles. The Runner Alien or also known as the Scout Alien or the Dog Alien. From the movie Alien 3, this is a small xenomorph born of a quadrupedal animal, specifically a Rottweiler and is definitely not a man's best friend. They are very fast and can spit acid from their mouth. Coming to the Trilobite Featured in Prometheus, this is an octopus-like creature which implants an embryonic deacon inside a host. It was never made clear how the creature gets out of the host but many suggest that the grown implant turns into a belly burster which leaves the host through its abdomen. The Deacon From the movie Prometheus, Deacon is the outcome of the trilobite impregnating the engineer. It is a close relative of the xenomorph having an inner mouth, an elongated head and no tail. The Spine Burster so far, we've had the chest burster, the belly burster, and the blood burster. Now, we also have the spine burster. Yes, you've guessed it right. This is one which bursts itself out from the host's spine and we can see it in the Alien Covenant movie of 2017. Coming to the most famous ones, up next is the Xenomorph XX121. From the movie Alien of 1979, this is the iconic monster. It is a vicious predator. Its only goal is to reproduce, hence it's very aggressive and destroys any other form of life they encounter. But it can only reproduce with a queen. They can easily kill because they have acid blood in their jaws and spikes for tails. And like bees, they live in hives. The Drone Alien also known as the warriors or soldiers and seen in the movie Alien, they are the most common adult form of the species Xenomorph XX121. They are the most widespread types and are the front lines during combat. They help construct hives and capture hosts for reproduction. The Queen Alien From the movie Aliens, we have the mother of all aliens and all xenomorphs in the hive and they have the ability to even control the behavior of others in the hives. They are extremely large having extra spikes in their tails and are very strong when it's time for them to engage in combat. However, their sole purpose is to lay xenomorph eggs. We all know that Ellen Ripley had a queen embryo inside of her. Scientists wanted the embryo but they couldn't separate the embryo from the host so the only solution was to clone Ellen Ripley which resulted in a human xenomorph hybrid. The first few times were unsuccessful until the 8th clone and hence they named it the Ripley 8. And from that it brings us to the clone queen or the genetic queen. She was featured in Alien Resurrection. When the embryo inside Ripley 8 was fully grown, it was safely removed and used to produce xenomorphs by impregnating a group of civilians and the cloned queen was born having some of the human genome which it picked during the cloning. She later gave birth to the newborn as a result of genetic crossing with her host Ripley 8. In the same movie, we also saw a resurrection of the cloned or the genetic xenomorph queen which was later known as the resurrected queen. The newborn or the alien sapien. Another one from the alien resurrection movie, this is an alien created by the genetic queen or the cloned queen. It killed the queen and considered Ripley 8 to be its mother. Due to its genetic makeup, it had human-like features and was very large in size. And that brings us to the end of the list. Hope you liked the video and do remember to give us your feedbacks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and do support us by liking our videos and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell.